Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory of our Father. Yes, you are no longer in the picture. <laughs> You are no longer in their picture. You understand? You know, sometimes we feed uh, we feed wrong people. We feed wrong energy. We feed wrong energy by giving them the attention that they crave for. By giving them the time that they crave for. So you see that wrong energy is, is, very, is a very bad thing that can drain anybody's strength. That can, that can make you to lose focus in life. Wrong energy. <laughs> When you are surrounded with people who have wrong and negative energy, just pray that God should remove you from their midst. Hallelujah. Because they will make sure you keep feeding that wrong energy. When you are feeding them, that when you are feeding them, they are happy and you are feeling exhausted. But now you are not feeding them anymore. I said you are no longer in the picture. You are like, I am out of this. I am out of this, and because of this, they are dying. Because of this, they are dying. Who will not feed that negative energy? I learned to avoid anything that will make me to feel less of myself. I must tell you. You must learn to avoid things. Since they don't want to work together with you. What happened with working with each other together and understanding each other? What happened? People are no longer interested in that. Wrong energy everywhere. Wrong motive everywhere. What happened if the Pharisees would have said, okay, let's work with Jesus Christ? What happened? People want you to feed that negative energy. But Jesus was not there in that picture anymore to come and give them. They didn't have anything on him anymore when he was risen. He was no longer in that picture of them coming to whip him, of them coming to beat him, of them coming to spite on him, to joke on him, to do anything, to feed on his energy. He was no longer there. So what happened when he rose? His enemies started dying. They were dying off, you know. Some were frustrated. Some were angry. Some were confused. Some were lying. Some did not know what to say. But... In all of that, Jesus is reason his reason. There is nothing they could do about it. They could not bring him back to say, okay, let's name him the second time. Let's pint on him because he was no longer in that picture anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are not feeding them the energy that they want anymore. They are dying. <laughs> when I hear this word, I started laughing. I say, wow. There was a time I experienced a situation like that. I was just like, God, remove me from this. Help me to overcome this. So gradually, I was overcoming the circle of that intense toxicity. I was overcoming that circle, overcoming that circle, taking my step away. Taking my step away. And most of them were complaining, she should come and explain, she should come and talk, she should come and talk. I said, I'm not talking. Because I will not feed you people the thing that you want to hear. Hallelujah. Just to weigh me down. Child of God, you don't need to feed everything around you. Some things need to just go. You understand? I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.